What's up, y'all? About to grill some corn. Bring that back inside. Head after lunch. Um, kind of wanted to make a video talking about pull-up specificity and how you would program your training if you wanted to like have a really good way to pull up. Best way to pull up I've ever done is 180 pounds. And a lot of that was just from just general strength I've built over the course of my training career. But there was a point in time, and this is what laid the foundation for most of it, that I was doing a lot of pull up specific training. Now you've heard um, Alpha Destiny, for example, talk about, well, you have to treat it like a competition though. What does that mean? You treat it like how you would treat a bench press. The only problem with just saying that by itself though, is that people treat their competition lifts, squat, bench, and deadlift, in a manner that isn't according, what am I trying to say? They don't know what they're doing with those. So just saying that on its own really isn't doing anything. The Berserk Method, link down below. If you were to take uh, the primary bench day and replace it with primary pull-up day, that's along the lines of what you would want to do programming-wise in terms of sets, reps, progressions, percentages, so on and so forth. Now, in terms of variation, it's very important, and this is kind of a two-for-one golden tidbit, so it's weighted pro, uh, pull-up programming tidbit, and then like a upper back versus lats tidbit. If you want, temperature is this at? I have until we get to 450, so I'm gonna make this quick. Just check the grill temperature. If you want to bias upper back versus lats on any pull, so um, rows or pull-ups or lat pull-downs, it's all about the degree of external rotation versus internal rotation you have with regards to your elbow. So the more internal rotation you have, meaning the more flush to your lats and your ribs that you are, the more lats that you'll bias. But the more that you come out here, the more you bias your upper back and your traps and all that. So you wanna use pull-up variations that are not necessarily different grips, but also different degrees of external versus internal rotation. That allows you to do pull-ups very, very often and use multiple pull-up variations within the same workout. Step one, you gotta find your competition grip width and degree of external versus internal rotation. For me, I'm the strongest at a supinated, so soup if you can imagine, scooping soup, spoon, supinated, close grip, internally rotated grip, because my lats are really big. However, if you're someone with a really monstrous deadlift, like you deadlift 700 pounds, more than likely you're gonna have a strong upper back and weak lats, just because that's the nature of powerlifting training. So a strong competition grip for you might be something that is really externally biased, so like a wider grip, supinated or pronated weighted pull-up. And you wanna arrange them in accordance of what's your strongest, so that'd be like your primary lift, <clears throat> and then like your tertiary and secondary lifts are gonna be the opposite of whatever internal versus external grip and form that you use. So for me, a good primary variation, and as you know, you do primary lifts later in the week, good primary variation would be something like a uh, close grip, double pause, meaning you pause up here, pause at the dead hang, double pause, weighted chin up. That'd be my primary variation that I would program just like a Larson press and program just like a Romanian deadlift. And then a secondary variation would be like a wide grip, single pause or double pause weighted pull up where I'm really externally biased and I'm working my upper back instead of my lats. Now for you guys, it'd be the same thing, but just as always, exercises apply differently to different people. But that's the frame of mind that you would have. Oh shit, we're at 500. I went over in time. Go ahead and grow this corn. Get back to work. I just wanted to leave y'all with this little tidbit.